this is Cameron, and welcome to the lesson log. All right, well, we got something kind of new today. Today's video will be my first guitar lesson with Dr. Christopher McDonald. Yeah, Chris, I met him in undergrad like maybe five years ago. Uh, he was getting his master's at the time, and he was kind enough to come onto the show and into my practice dungeon and teach me a little bit about the fugue and the adagio, but today's video will just be the fugue portion of that lesson. So, without further ado, here is that. I will see you on the other side. I'll play through like the first section. Yeah, let's hear it. See how it goes. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think I, I really like what you're doing um, with the initial line in the sense that um, you have a direction to it. I agree that like repeated notes have this generative force. And so I think yeah. bringing it into like a crescendo, dun, 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 is, is yeah. I think effective. Yeah. Um, I try to do that for every, uh, basically every like instance of that. Yeah, uh, I think consistency like, yeah. is, is, is good. Um, yeah. because I, I like the, the head bang. Dun, okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Dun. Yeah, and, and it lends itself like it's, it's that's got to be the direction of that note. It's like that dun dun, dun, dun. yeah, like that has yeah. to be the direction of the note. Um, I think one thing that I I think when we get the dun 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 when we get into that kind of after the the um, the subject comes in a few times, mm -hmm. I think that's actually a spot early on where you could probably push and pull a little bit more. Oh really? So, so I think like that part is we're not really expository anymore. We're, Like breaking up the lines. Yeah. And then maybe coming, yeah, yeah. And, then, and, then, and then that's more structural. So yeah. I think, um, and this was something that Nick Galusis told me once when I was working on this, is I'm, I'm not going to get the, the Greek mythological characters that's correct, okay. but, <laughs> but we have this very like rigid, structured, Dun, 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 dun. And then we have this very free, and it's still sequential, but we want to think about it maybe a little bit more like it's a conversation with that initial structural point. Oh. And so like that leads into the next, and then we get back to the, so that we have this like dichotomy through the whole piece of this very free counterpoint. We're still contrapuntal, but it's just kind of meandering sequentially, and then we have the very much like okay, then we're back into it, and I think that what that will do is it will further emphasize where you have the theme coming back in mm -hmm. because it will contrast this other otherness. Um, but I think it will also um, present the flexibility of, um, of, of like kind of bringing out the sense of, of dichotomy in, in the music. So can, can we try from the beginning? Um, oh, yeah. And then and starting from that, um, I, it's interesting. You're going with a like targa fingering starting on the, uh, the third string, which, yeah. which is... Um, I've seen people do that before. Uh, I, I did this for like the first few months. I like the the tone more. Like yeah, I, I think that's fine. Um, yeah. yeah, it's definitely easier to to, <laughs> to yeah. play, but you know, but you gotta yeah, it's individualistic, but uh, but it's it's effective, I think. So. Yeah. So yeah, so you're talking about make the conversation or like yeah. sort of have like this like like we, it's sort of contrasting it. Well, these are characters. So like yeah. what is, like I mean, this is a better maybe asked as a question is like what is the character of this first like. Dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. What does that feel like? Like, I mean, and there's not a right answer to this, but what does it feel like? Like, what kind I, of character are you are you writing there? 
a slow driving force that's very like even. Okay. Feeling like da 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 ba da da da, mm. you know, kind of. Yeah. Can you make the like the speed up parts a little faster? And yeah. Then the, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. And I think you have to play with how much to push and pull there. Um, I think what you don't want to do um, with whenever and whenever we slow down, we we want to make sure that we're still preserving forward motion and yeah. lock. And so it's this kind of like kind of razor razor thin line that we're we're kind of thinking about like how do we kind of re use this rubato in like a meaningful way without without losing the kind of perpetual motion thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I think that you're hearing the sequence in there though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And so, like, I think that's what you have to kind of lean into, yeah. Yeah, I have to try that again. Because uh, we're getting, it's, it's a little bit bright. What if you played a little closer, like saltasto, but used, I'm asking you to change yeah. left. But what if you I, changed your hand position where you get a little bit more um, nail on the string, like, but, but saltasto. It will make it, like, it will give it this kind of sweetness, but also the preserve the clarity. Yeah, there you go. Like that. Yeah. Okay. That's beautiful. Yeah. I did just get out of the shower, too, so my nails oh, are yeah. little, <laughs> they feel a little weird. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's just like. kind of focusing on playing it out. that's going to give you preserve the clarity but it's going to add a kind of a sweetness that goes along with the rubato. yeah yeah that's nice and i i really haven't experimented much with um like changing the angle i know that's something berg always said like yeah well it's like your tone pedal i think he knows like yeah. about seven different ways you can angle your, yeah like so he yeah. you know he's, he's or i think uh what i remember him saying is that you should have five different sounds like from without changing perhaps yeah <laughs> so but i think like the thing that yeah. i think we we kind of as guitarists want to like our tendency is like okay, it's, it's either um, you know Ponticello or Soltasto. Yeah. But I don't think it has to be that. And now you're saying Soltasto. What is that? Like um, like sweeter, like, oh, like, like kind of that yeah darker like warmer dolce or. Yeah. Is that just another word for dolce? Yeah. Oh, but uh, does it, what does it have to do? Um, is it related to the positioning? So that's more just like the like. The where, where you are on the strings as yeah. far as closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like Ponticello, um, Dolce. But, like, I think that we can yeah. kind of balance it where if we get more naily, mm -hmm. we'll get, like, a clearer sound. And if we okay. do that Ponticello, it, it gets a really, really bright sound. But I think what we can do is we can get some clarity while still preserving this kind of sweetness. Because what we don't want to lose with Bach is the clarity of the line. And it can happen, like, if you have this very um, kind of transverse angle on the string when you're playing it, it can sound kind of a little bit muddy with it. and you can try it like so yeah. try it like where you don't turn your nail but you're, you're closer here it, be, it becomes 
becomes like a lot darker and muddier, but if we, but we can get a little bit more of that ink, we'll, we yeah. get that clarity. But we still get that sweetness. And I think, uh, can we talk about that last little harmony? Oh, yeah. Like anticipations there. Bum, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh no. I'm trying to remember how it That's goes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just like um. I'll make my way to it. Okay. And then we, we kind of land there. So I think that's one thing that you could do with that, that middle part. Um, then I think when you get back to it, I, I, I think that it's it's good. But can we get into the part right before we go up to the like to the twelfth fret? Oh yeah, you know, just so. leading into it. Yeah, that part. Yeah, and then that. <laughs> yeah, I, and I think like we have to because um, that felt like a lot of time. Okay. And it may, so you want to keep it. I think you can along. have some. Bum, 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 bum. You know, yes. I think we still want to keep the. I think having a like uh, a like a so no, pausa, yeah. like a little air pause, like a breath. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we want to like. It's not like a whole new thing. Yeah, because okay, see. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's too fast. Somewhere okay. in between. Yeah, and can we can we get into that part? Of no. course. So one thing I think you could do to get because what happens the further we move up mm -hmm. on the on the neck, the more our hand if we keep it in the same position slowly becomes more tosto. Yeah. Because you're thinking like your this is your length of your string now your hands here if it's here. That's a different set. So I think we yeah. need to move our hand back a little bit when we get to that part oh, to okay. preserve the same tone quality okay. as the beginning. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's it. As you go back, you can start, you know, yeah. And you don't have to, like, go crazy about it, but it's good, yeah. So I think like it's that kind of that suspension that you kind mm -hmm. of lean into a little bit will mm -hmm. give the illusion of kind of space. Yeah. But I don't think yeah. you want to have. Ba -da 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 -dum, ba -da -dum, okay. Ba -dum, yeah. harmonically there that's a harmonic yeah. part so this yeah. is five one da, 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 five da, da, da. yeah you know it's really oh, yeah, like that, that really comes back to Bach is like this is this is gonna we're getting to a cadence <laughs> we're, we're starting something new so yeah. I think that that's really effective to slow down there rather than da, 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 bum, bum. yeah you know I think that that's much more effective and I like what you're doing with the bass um, 
the, or you start with a um, where you, where the the subject gets in the bass. But like, what does that part sound like to you? Like it comes up later, and it becomes like a whole section where we have the bum 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 bum. bum. Oh yeah, the, the, it's almost like a. I think of that part as like almost like a foreshadow for for that part, and oh, that part's like wow. kind of a standalone part. Oh. But like, what if we thought about like what you do there? Is like, yeah. Hmm. I wonder what I would do. Huh. Yeah, that's nice. Bum, bum, bum. It's, it's a different directional movement, but like. Oh, there it is. I was playing a. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, there you go. Just your way down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh. I that's wonder what I would even do. Well, do can you play? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just play that part. Yeah. And yeah. so what if you thought about that, like, um... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's nice, because what yeah. you're doing is, because we're... It's like Bach is, like, introducing kind of something that becomes a section later, in a way. I mean, that might be a disagreeable point, but mm. but, he, but I think we, we have this... and then. And does he go somewhere there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like this pretty structurally important cadence, and so I think that we can kind of utilize that to get out of the bum 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 ba da dum. Yeah. Bum 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 bum, and then we we we're getting to the cadence, but it's yeah. not that part, but it it hints at that future part. So I think that's something that Bach does a lot, where it might not necessarily be explicitly the same texture, but but he'll utilize kind of this kind of idea, this kind of structural movement, and then later develop a whole section out of that structure. So that's where we can kind of connect these like small ideas into like the larger ideas like that. Yeah. Can can we try that section again? Oh and then, yeah, of course. Um, Starting from the. Can we start where we get the um, bum bum? Yeah, yeah. Probably do like can you do a cross string where you bring your fourth finger back and um, Should I do maybe we'll talk about a cross string but yeah. Uh, uh, where are we? So what I usually do, this is kind of oh, um, yeah. I'm stealing from lutenists. Mm -hmm. um, can I borrow your of course. Um, so I'm just gonna get position. But if if we think about like they don't do this, but they would always do like this kind of I. So what yeah. I do for, for those kind of cross string trills, and what it does is when we play cross string trills where we end on our thumb on the last note, mm -hmm. we get this kind of suspension. But that's not where we, we want that resolution. And so if we do this, um, we get that, and I'm exaggerating, but we get that like excessively loud D sharp there. We yeah. don't want that. We want, you know. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Where we back up. And so if you think about like this, like the shape, and then we get there. So I think yeah. like anytime we do a trill, we want to, especially in broke music, we want the suspended note to be louder than the other. And so let's, let's try it. Can we try that? Like, um, it's well, basically you're doing right. like a double slip stroke. Where you do, yeah. It's not actually that hard to do. Well, come on, say it's hard. It is really hard to do. Yeah. It's the hardest technique I've ever learned. And <laughs> But I think the the fact is you can you have a lot more control over that that last note, and you can also add like a lot of um, you can add however you want. Like if you want to add another set, you can add like a in there or something, or you can yeah. do i i m m i i if you want. No. Like where would I add it? <laughs> I don't even know. And it's got to be a timing thing. Okay. Maybe we should let's get the yeah, sure. music so we can write it we in. can talk more specifically about it. Yeah. <laughs> this will not be displayed on the thing. Sorry, oh. sorry everybody. <laughs> this is only for us. Oh yeah. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da. Oh, that's interesting. The stemming that they use. Oh, that does that. Oh, I thought that erases the whole. Okay. <laughs> can I see it real quick? Of course. Ba -da -ba -da -da. So I do it on the D sharp and then land on the E. Is that what it is? 
I'd probably do it like so it's it's you got to get off of it. I think that that you, what you don't want the is the trill to become like the like the main focal point of that. So it's yeah. gonna. Da, 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 da. Just my fingers. Yeah. yeah that, oh yeah. Yeah. This was fun. That wasn't on purpose. All right. And use your hand a little bit on that to like just. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Kind of rake it. And, yeah. Well, yeah. So it's almost got to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There it is. I said. Because yeah, if you start with M, you're gonna be in trouble because yeah, I figured yeah, yeah. You can get it pretty fast that way. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a timing thing. to work out the timing for it. But I think that the... could be really effective. Yeah, I, no, I think, think if you're going to take time, sure. like that's where you take time on it. I think that's a very nice technique. Yeah, I use oh. that pretty much all the time in uh, now Renaissance that's and Baroque music. <laughs> um, and I think it was it was something that, um, from what Paulo Odette um, said one time in a, in a class, I think it's uh, it's up on the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, well, I, just want, I don't want it to like fall over. I'll actually keep this here in case you... Oh, oh sure. sure. reference it. But um, but he, he, he like he was talking about like I, I'm, this isn't what Paulo Dett said, um, but but I think it's this the somewhat the sentiment. Um, but I don't want he's he's not an aggressive guy. But for but what yeah. I took from it is like guitars have this like innate tendency to really want bum bum this kind of like suspension that lands so hard on the resolution note because of the fact that their thumb on the cross string trills, yeah. and so he he kind of has this tendency to. Um, I think prefer more single string trills for that, um, mm -hmm. but I think we can do a cross string trill in a way that's effective. It's just we have to listen to like what the lutenists were doing, which was very much not this like kind of uh, A I M P thing, but yeah. it's very much I M M this kind of slip stroke kind of. Thing. Yeah, I'll and have to look at some of the other because there are other D sharp E trills that I, th I come think up. once I kind of figured out to do this, and it wasn't me that figured out to do this. It was very much like Professor Berg um, mentioned that you, this is something that people did, and I like leaned heavily into like I'm gonna. If that's what Lutonist did, I'm going to try to do it. Yeah. Um, and it turns out it's like, it can be really functional for, of course, music that was written on, you know, the lute. But um, yeah. But I think, I think the... like, what, I kind of became a bit obsessed with it when I first learned that. I was like, I think this um, Vice Sonata I played had way too many cross string trills in, in hindsight. But because this part's like almost like if we think about like a development section. Yeah. those kind of dyads. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Yeah. on the bass what if you did but 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 oh but, yeah but. Like, 
quiet quiet intensity yeah like but like yeah yeah i want more of the intensity and less of the quiet i think yeah Actually, believe it or not, I've never tried doing that. I always do it. And you can decide how much. Like, I mean, there's no rule about when to yeah. start interjecting. I, you could. I do like the the intensity of that, though. Right. And what I like about, I think the, the the my interest in that is like if we think about that being like a pedal tone, which yeah. Bach really liked doing these like pedal tone things happening over a pedal tone yeah but what happens when we play like a note on the guitar it, it, it does it sustain the same way as like a, like an organ like bah, like it doesn't and so like we, we can't we can't crescendo that note we can't yeah. sustain that note but we can like give the illusion of it's the same thing we do with tremolo mm -hmm. which is like okay we can't actually sustain a note but we can allude to sustaining a note and i think that this kind of creates this like i, I bomb it, it creates like otherwise it kind of bomb dun, dun, bomb dun, dun. you know we, yeah, we kind of yeah. lose it because we get this immediate decay it's like this impulse and so that. i think it will it will really allow us to kind of think okay box writing a pedal tone there yeah. well I, this is a violin so like maybe not but like, but it feels like there needs to be a pedal tone there yeah and so like let's make it a pedal tone yeah so you're saying to like look at what's going on and maybe deduce that we should play that more i think we should i think because it is a constant thing yeah we wanted to like emphasize this yeah. kind of dissonance between this like this it almost feels like it it's reminiscent of like if you think about like um like indian classical music then mm -hmm. this drone and things happening over over it and it's like I, I feel like it really needs this just like guttural kind of thing and i think that that's the appeal of pedal tones but i think that that kind of consistent bum and you don't want to get this kind of like that that kind of feel, but like yeah. it can, and I think you can actually be a little freer during this too. Yeah. Bum, ba, da, ba, ba, da, ba. Bum, ba. Yeah, there you go. That's nice. Cause then you get there and it's just like like that's like the most metal part of this yeah this, isn't it like the bottom. i mean it, yeah. it feels like this it's like sweet picking um, yeah you know so i think that will help kind of cultivate that generative motion to that part yeah can we, can we try it again and just oh, keep, yeah, can we keep going oh yeah of course backing off like volume wise as we kind yeah. of go back down yeah but i feel like we're losing energy oh so you yeah think about it instead of like just i felt that way as well quietly like this but maybe like mm. a, a like it's still kind of this intensity but like maybe like a imagine someone like whispering something really urgent to you yeah at the end like that i think that's maybe more okay what you're going for. yeah um so i think we gotta start yeah there you go yeah exposition because you're you're bringing it out well but how do we lead up to that oh to the, that's this question like and it's not as, yeah because that's i feel like it's and that's fine if you want that to be like subi. i i have a few ideas like i actually for a while started playing like a big crescendo up to it and then like all out and then just 
going like as loud. I think that's fine. I, um, I think I've kind of changed a bit. Like I think taking a little bit of a pause before you enter that that's maybe a good spot for just well, a breath. Well, I like now like I establish like the the bass and then crescendo through that and then. Try to make that like kind of the the biggest like it's almost like acrobatic too. That's where I always mess up probably because I'm okay. being like <laughs> most intense. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. So that was I was trying to crescendo through that like where I started. I, yeah, I like I like that. I think that was effective. I think it's okay to like. Is, is to kind of build through that. I think there, there can be like a, maybe a bit of a middle ground. Because I yeah. felt like I just kind of lost it, and then the theme started and he went up into the on the 12th fret. Yeah, okay. But I want I want to feel like the theme start, And maybe that could be like a bit of just a breath before you start that theme. Y and Would you're talking okay? when, I, when I go into the... Yeah, like when that, you get so, back okay. there. Yeah, right. I, I, I just want... All right, so a breath before that? Or, no, no, right, right. Or during? Um, yeah, and I think maybe just like an air pause there. Ba -da -dum. Bum, um, bum, bum, bum. Where exactly are we looking? So that's um. Mm -hmm. So it's here. So maybe here, just a bit of a. Ba -da -dum, bum. Da -da bum, 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 bum. Da 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 like that. Or. Da -da 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 bum bum. Da 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 da. Oh, so when it when it goes up. Um, okay. breath there like before it no, no that's not but, um, it's got to be on that a before oh <laughs> um i lost my place can you pull? oh there right i believe there. it's there da, 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 bum, yeah bum. it's got to be on that when you play that first a so it's right before that right okay all right yeah. i see da, da, bum, bum, bum. and then you know bum, chord da, da, da. okay and then this The, kind of then getting back to that open position, um, or back, like, can, can you, can we, can we start? Yeah. Do you just want to start again? Can you do it faster, though? Like, my... Without missing a note? I think it's, I think it's a timing thing where you've got to leave this in and bump, and then just think about your, yeah, uh, it, like, so, you know, look where you're going, and then, and then let your arm, like, it's this ballistic motion idea of just let your arm hmm. go, but look where you're going. <laughs> like, you know, so... Yeah. Yeah. So my thought is like you want to look at your where your fourth finger is going to go there. Yeah. 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 That's that's got to be like you got to make. Yeah. 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 So, so it might help to lead into it, but as soon as you play, bump, ba da, bump, bump. Mm -hmm. So even before I play the E. Well, so what is gonna yeah? So what is gonna be is. Uh, okay. Yeah. But there's this latency between, like, basically when our brain says to do something and when our hand... So you're not going to leave early. Yeah. That's not the goal. But the goal is you've got to tell your hand to move before you need to move. Mm. Because, we, like, so, okay. so so if we tell our hand to move as soon as we know we need to move, it's going to be too late. Yeah. So what, what I'm seeing is, is not so much that you're moving too slowly or something like that. Is, is you're not starting, you're not initiating the movement soon enough. So it's going to make it, and we can play around with it, but as soon as you hear that bum, da, 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 but it won't be too early if you're playing at a tempo. Yeah. The rules for at a certain speed change from the rules at a slow speed. Oh, yeah. And so yeah. in order to do that, we have to like move a little bit earlier than we think we need to, but our hand will move on time. Well, that's not guaranteed. We, we have to, <laughs> but in order to move on time, we have to leave like a little bit earlier than we think we might need to if it were a slower speed. Oh, and yeah, then as yeah. soon as you hear this bump, it's, that's your that's your trigger for your hand to move. <laughs> but that wasn't so good. Okay, I think I'll get, focus more on that part. Well, that's, but, uh, you got to the, you got back there really well. Can we, can we do both well? Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, uh, so maybe no, we're a little bit too early. Uh, yeah, that was good. Oh, I, 
right. Yeah, I'm like muting the. I have to just do that a bunch of times. But you're moving slower when you're practicing, like when you're practicing slower. Really? Can, can you like? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, make sure. Uh, yeah. And the danger to that is like you want to get used to because, like I said, the rules change at a slower speed from faster. You might actually be solving. Practicing slowly is great. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. awesome. But the mechanics of practicing slowly are different than the mechanics of practicing quickly. So I think Very, like yes, it's okay absolutely. to practice slower, but bum, make sure that you're still cultivating the movement, that kind of ballistic movement back, because you're not doing this. Bum, 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 bum. You want to practice bum, bum, bum. It's okay to take it slower, but don't make the movement slower too. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> You, you got there. Yeah, <laughs> like, that, that was good. awesome. Yeah. I still felt a little slow. I don't, I don't yeah. think so. I think, I mean, maybe, it, okay, so maybe you could get there faster. Yeah, it doesn't have to be crazy, but like you were, and it was so clean. Like, that was yeah. great. Thank you. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to work on that for sure. But, but that, that's, but that that's good to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can we try that part, and can we keep going? Oh, yeah. Cool. the 12th fret but it's the one after that where you have the where we had that cross string trill oh it's very similar to that part that new theme oh Like it just sounds like it sounds like uh, strange to me. Oh. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm playing it wrong. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably time to tune. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah, this is great. There's a lot of really nice stuff. But um, so can we talk about the? Because I've started losing. I just felt like I lost energy there. This thing. Maybe before that. Can we can we go into the where you have the kind of more sweepy parts and the fourth system there? Like uh, from this oh, here? like this. Oh, this. Maybe I'm just like using too much pool. Maybe it's like articulation.
I think it, and I like what you're doing the da 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 dum, ba da 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 dum. I think that's where that line goes. I don't think it's da 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 da, da da. I think da 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 dum. I think it's got to be to that last note. Yeah. Can we try that again? The, yeah. The. That. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Ending's very effective. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, I think the part before that, um, I think you, you know, it's, um, I think it could be a little bit more chaotic, and I think you need to maybe let it go a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, um, you're gonna start weeping. What's that? You're gonna start weeping. I don't know what you, that means. You need to let it, like, crying. Oh, I know. You're right? gonna let it go. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, can, can we play, like, the, um, I don't know where it is. Uh, like at this. Yeah, there. Because that's beautiful. I think that's what you want it to be, but it builds into this kind of chaotic. Yeah. I, kind I, of... I take uh, Julian Bream for that one. Because he, he, like, at least in like the master class he did, when he, he has this whole master class, which I reacted to. But he ends the master class with him just playing that section. Oh, okay. And it's like, yep, that's the best it's ever been played okay. in the universe. <laughs> he kind of played like that. Yeah, I think for this part it's beautiful, yeah. sweet and soft um the um no no uh it's like before you, you the section you just started the, this yeah but can you play the the section before that this is a trick question uh can i let's see oh okay um, well, it's not, it's not meant to be a trick question. <laughs> i should be able to uh because i really want that to be much more subido and i think the part before that can be more chaotic uh oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the um let me think of a good place to start with that. Oh, here.
Yeah. Because that's almost like right. a false peak. That's where the ending maybe should be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like this is where it, we're, we're I coming close. Maybe, yeah. But so maybe that yeah. chaotic, like act, act like you're building up to like this profound ending cadence, and then nope. Yeah. Subido. I yeah, think that's I, what it's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, I, I've I've played that at Guitar Center before, and uh, like I, I like to go to Guitar Center to like boost my ego. Okay. So I go to the acoustic room and <laughs> yeah. start playing my few. And I've had people like. Does it work? <laughs> yeah, I've had people at that part. They start like nice, and then I'm like, nope. It goes somewhere else. Yeah. Nope, we're not done yet. And that's the genius good. of Bach. It's <laughs> yeah. like he does such a good job building up such a wonderful cadence there. Just take just take you somewhere else. Yeah. And to an even better cadence. To even better, yeah. It's like it's, <laughs> it's like. I don't. Have you ever been like mountain climbing before? Uh, I've been hiking, not mountain climbing. For we're, we're like, but where you get to like the, have you seen like a false peak before? Oh yeah. yeah where absolutely. you get up there, and you're like, this is the end. Yeah. Great, I've yeah. done it. And then you get there, like, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and so I think that's what, and I think that Subido is really effective, if and only if, you build up the previous part to being this profound cadence, and then just, no, yeah, it's not. And I think that's what the brilliance of Julian Bream in that moment isn't isn't making it really quiet and sweet there. It's what he builds in the expectation that Bach builds. There. Yeah. And I think that's, and I think then that ending's really effective because then it's like, no, okay, then we go to this, and then we get this, and I like that. Um, Sorry, It's got to be very free and cadenza-like, like you, like you have it. And I think that that's a part that I hear a lot of people play quite poorly. Yeah. Um, and I think that was nice. Well, it, it one felt of my, very free. One of my friends uh, likened liken that to a, um, like a trill, like where you should start it a bit slower. I think that's really effective. Yeah. yeah, I like it a lot. So I've been... I, if you talked to me like a week ago, it would have been... Which is fun. <laughs> yeah, like, it is fun. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I, yeah, but I like it. I, I think that's a really effective, almost cadenza-like figure. And I was, I was yeah. convinced. I'm like, okay, that, that's the ending. Yeah. Good, we, we got there. So yeah. I think that your ending is really strong. Oh, thank you. But you want to, yeah. like, you, you want to, like, highlight that by, like, whatever you do before that ending part, you have to, like, set up that expectation. Um, so I think that I think that sounded really good to me, like the the chaotic, and then just like, I think that's that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It sounds yeah. great. You've done like I mean super good work on this. You you've learned it very well. Um, yeah, all of these things and and kind of the vein of like, what do you do with those notes? Yeah. Fingers? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. This this definitely. I have a lot of. I have months ahead of me now to think about what to do with all this, and uh, yeah, uh, like basically everything you said is gonna be really helpful. Good, yeah. yeah. I, so, like, it's I think, cool that we got to go through the whole thing. Yeah, I think that's necessary. Yeah. Because like, I mean, so much in like you go to a master class, and I think this is probably an experience that everyone's had, and this isn't the fault of like the practitioners. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's just the nature of you have twenty minutes. The fugue is about six minutes. Yeah. And so there's fourteen minutes to speak about something. And usually, like, the idea is, okay, we talk about one or two of the most salient points. But then after that, you're like, okay, cool. So I made, you know, um, I made more, my scales more flexible. And it's like, okay, but, like, it'd be nice to actually go <laughs> go through and every, contextualize everything. So I think that that's the, that's the difference. And I like the lesson kind of format of going, let's go through the whole thing. Yeah. Um, but I, I want to hear this again, not now, but I, I'd like, I'd love to hear it again. Oh, well, point, yeah. dude, next month. Cool, okay. I'll we'll be back on <laughs> yeah. and see if it's any better. Hey, what'd you think of that? Pretty good, right? Very productive lesson, wasn't it? Yeah, so, you know, let me know if you like that. I'm sure uh, we will have more lessons because I would like to work on that fugue for at least a month or so. Maybe have him back on and we'll see how it comes out after that. You know, all the usual stuff. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have a question about anything. Perhaps I'll answer it in the chair. Perhaps Chris will answer it in the comments. Um, yeah. All right, well, we'll continue regular programming tomorrow. So, well, actually, for me, I'll continue it tonight. So, I'll see you tonight. <laughs>